Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if there's no audio or sound on your Windows 11 computer. So if you don't hear anything coming out of your speakers, I'm going to show you guys a couple different potential workarounds. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, make sure your speakers are turned on and plugged into your computer. If it's a loose connection, you want to make sure it's correctly put in and it's not loose. You may want to consider plugging it into a different USB port or trying different external speakers if that is applicable in your case. So if you're using external speakers, just try plugging in a different set of speakers and see if that resolves the problem. Also check your sound settings down in your taskbar and make sure it is turned up. It's something else you want to try. And then also on a website, if you're having an issue with a specific website, make sure the site is not muted and make sure that the volume controls are also turned up on that video player as well. And again, that really wouldn't be a Windows problem, but just wanted to put that out there. We can also open up the search menu and type in troubleshoot. Best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, you want to select playing audio and then the run button. And then I recommend following along with any on-screen prompts here. And then you would select close. You can also scroll down underneath other. And where it says recording audio, you can click the run button for that one as well. And see if that resolves the issue. You can also close out of here, open up the search menu, type in device manager. Best match, you come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. You want to expand the audio inputs and output section. Right click on the speaker icon and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers. And then select let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you will select the recommended one here unless there's only one option which will probably just be a generic software device which you can do that one as well. But if there's one that says something that is not generic I probably would go with that one over a generic driver. And then I'm going to select next. Select closed, close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully that should resolve the problem. One further thing we can attempt would be to open up the search menu, type in control panel, best result, should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. So your view by two large icons, and then you want to select the sound entry. Underneath playback, if you have multiple devices listed in here, you want to select the one that you actually want to be your default. So click on it, and then you would select set default. So that's definitely something if you have multiple output devices connected to your computer, make sure you're using the correct output device. And if you select the configure button, you can go ahead and actually adjust that configuration through here as well. And you can test your speakers by clicking the little test button. Select properties, and you can adjust the enhancements as well. So if you click on the enhancements tab, I recommend checking disable all enhancements if you're still having a problem. And then you would select apply and okay. And then okay again. And then hopefully at this point, your problem should have been resolved. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do be able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.